Hello and welcome to Media Day for Idaho men's and women's basketball. I'm Zach Kellogg. 2020 has been a challenging year across all sports and across the country and the world due to COVID-19, but men's and women's basketball is officially getting ready to slated to come back. And to start off, I had the chance to talk with coaches and players from both teams. And starting off, I sat down with women's basketball head coach, John Newley. Now joined by women's basketball head coach, John Newley. Coach Newley, it's great to see you again. Yeah, good to see you. All right, coach, my first question, it's the elephant in the room. COVID-19, it struck you guys probably at the worst point in the season, right before the Big Sky Championship game. How are you feeling now? It's like about seven months removed from, from that incident, that situation. Well, you know, uh, yeah, the situation couldn't have been worse. And, you know, it just hit you the punch in the gut. You're getting ready to get a chance to go to the NCAA tournament. And we thought, you know, we had a pretty good shot at that. And uh, to have that taken away was rough. It was hard on everybody. But, um, you know, the months have gone by now. And we know it's a new season. And it's just time to focus on what we have in front of us and not what's behind us. Um, one thing, well, you know, with the fans and how, you know, how many will be in attendance and that kind of still up in the air, kind of in question. I know for you guys, the energy bringing that up from the bench and the team has never really been in doubt. Seems like every single game, whether it's home or away, that bench for you guys is always putting hands up, putting the three up in the air when a three ball goes down or always getting excited when there's an offensive foul that you guys drew. How important is that going to be for you guys to bring your own energy, especially if there's not a lot of crowd noise going on or really no crowd noise in some instances? Yeah, it's going to be huge. You know, there's no question uh, we've had the best bench in the, uh, in the big sky, you know, the last few years. Our energy's amazing. You know, those guys, whether they, they don't play, they play a minute, they play 38, and they're on the bench for two. You know, that energy was just contagious and uh, loved our attitude. You know, it was a, and that's, that's a big tribute to our team culture. You know, it, it's fantastic and it has been for years now. And, it, you know, they, they show the young guys as they come in how it is and, um, we need that energy and we'll need it more than ever with this COVID year coming in because I know crowds will be limited. Um, we're going to have to bring our energy like we always say anyway on the road, but now we're going to maybe have to bring it uh, much more at home as well, depending on, on, you know, the restrictions in place. So I think our bench will be huge for us um, as the season goes along. And I know, you know, energy is one thing, but also having leadership. And I know you guys' team chemistry and culture has been very strong when in your tenure as the head coach of this team. You guys lost two very big leaders last year to graduation, and Izzy Haddon and Lizzie Klinker. Who are you looking at to step up into that role of being not just a vocal leader like Lizzie was, but one that leads by example like Izzy? Right. I, I think um, you know Natalie Klinker comes to mind immediately. You know she's the hardest worker on our team, and uh, she. I told her you got to step up vocally now, and I think she's done a great job of that so far. Um, you know, Allie Kirby is, is feeling as good as she has uh, since she's been here. I think she'll bring that leadership along with Nina Carlson. Um, you know, our seniors that have been in the program all these years now, and they understand what it takes uh, leadership-wise. They've had great role models, like you said, with uh, Iz and, uh, and Lizzie last year, and, you know, naming the captains down through the years. I think um, they all understand what their roles are, what they need to bring um, to the program. And now looking at this year, I just want to finish off with this. How excited are you to be back playing basketball, back with the team, and have the season back underway and get some kind of, you know, normal feeling to what has been a very off and different year? Yeah, it really has. And, you know, as, as the summer went along and where are we going to play, are we not going to play, getting into fall, um, knock on wood, it looks like, it looks like we're going to get after it and we're going to play. So we're very grateful to the NCAA and, and all the changes they've made so we're able to, to get a basketball season in. And I know everybody's feeling the same. Um, very excited to get things going, get our season back. And you, like you said, regain some sense of normalcy because when we're on the floor, it really does. You know, I don't think about the COVID, even with the mask and all the stuff going on. And, you know, you go out into the world and you see all the stuff going on. But I think, um, you know, all I know is, is our team's fired up. We're ready to go. And I can't wait for the season to start. Coach, thank you so much for joining me. All right, good to see you. And a big part for the Vandal success under Coach Newley in 2020 was that of freshman forward Beyonce B, who looks to take a big leap forward in her sophomore campaign in 2021. Now joined by sophomore forward Beyonce B of women's basketball. Beyonce, how you doing today? I'm doing good, how are you? Doing great, thank you for asking. Uh, starting off, Freshman season last year, you really came out and hit the ground running. Uh, seems like even from day one, you were making a big impact on the floor, offensively, defensively, on the boards. 
and also in clutch moments. I saw that you were tied for second for the most game tying threes within the last <laughs> minute in Division One NCAA. Yes. Um, how that? How just now you have a t some time to process it. How was that freshman campaign? And just how you feel and kind of looking back at it. Um, yeah, I feel really good about my freshman season. You know, I think both personally and as a team, it went really well. Um, couldn't really have asked for a better um, season. Um, so, you know, I'm excited to get going in the second year. I know the season, um, like you said, went really well. It just didn't quite end the way yeah. you guys wanted to with the world kind of, you know, yeah. being put on pause. Uh, how have you been feeling? How has the team been feeling kind of having some time to process that, having some time to mull that over? What has been the, your feeling, kind of the team's feeling going into the season after knowing not, it's not always a given, it's not always guaranteed, knowing that you will get a definitive end of the year? Yeah, so definitely, you know, taking that experience um, just makes you think like, you can't take anything for granted. You know, you play every game like it's your last, give it your all. Um, so I think we're going into this season with that mindset for sure, and we're all just really excited to get back on the court. I know in the off season, Coach Newley and the staff and the team love being able to be together or, you know, get some team bonding. I know he likes to send you guys home, actually, but, you know, at least having that chemistry to be built. And it's been a very it's been a very different summer of 2020. Mm -hmm. How are you guys going to try and make up for some lost time or how have you guys built, been able to build up that chemistry or continue to hold on to that family culture that Coach Newley has really made the Vandals known for the last few years? Yeah, so we've just really been focused on um, spending as much time together as we can. You know, we got to stay in our team bubble to stay safe, but also just, you know, it helps team bonding as well. You know, we're all super close already, um, which is awesome. So we just always like to hang out with each other whenever we can. Uh, so what do you think that they're going to bring to the game come this season? What do you think the team overall, what's your guys going to be identity coming into this year? Because last year it was hard hitting defense and really being efficient on the offensive end. What is your guys' kind of goal for this year? Where do you kind of see this team going? I kind of see the same type of roles being played, honestly. Uh, I think we are going to be a really strong team defensively again this year. Um, and I think offensively as well, you know, we're just being that efficient team, uh, reducing those turnovers, being able to share the ball with everyone, not just, you know, like a one-man show type of thing. But I think we have a lot of players who are capable of, um, you know, being offensive threats for us. And, you know, just being a sophomore, um, as we just kind of talked about, you know, you, you kind of came in and you hit the ground running like not a ton of players usually do at, at the next level. As a sophomore, um, I know Coach Newley, being as a, you were a regular starter last year, what has he asked of you to kind of, you know, build up those leadership skills, build up kind of that presence of being one of the leaders on this team despite not being one of the upperclassmen or one of the seniors? Yeah, so he definitely, you know, wants me to take more of a leadership role this year now that I kind of know what's what's going on, how the team works, you know, stuff like that. Um, and I think just to be more of an offensive presence for sure. Um, so just been working on parts of my game, developing um, different threats. So, yeah. How does it feel just to have some kind of normal feeling to return to the year as the season gets closer? Is it just kind of a weight off your shoulders, just a breath of fresh air being like, all right, yeah, this is what a normal season would feel like at this point, even though we're all still adhering to social distancing and all the CDC guidelines. Yeah, it's really nice to be back um, kind of looking more normal um, and just to have that like start date, November 25th, in our minds like set and so we can have something to really look forward to and, and work hard for. How excited are you for your sophomore year? and just to get back on the court, wear that Vandals, wear that Vandals name, wear that number five on your jersey, just how excited are you just to be back? I'm super excited. I can't wait to start playing, um, start practicing with the team and everything and just see how, you know, we're going to do. All right, Beyonce, thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, thank you. And now transitioning to the men's team. After what was seen as a bit of a disappointing season in 2020, second year head coach Zach Claus, along with a core group of five seniors and a host of transfers and freshmen coming into the program, look to breathe new life into the Vandal men's basketball program. Now joined by men's basketball head coach Zach Claus. Coach, it's great to see you again. It's great to be with you. Thank you for having me. All right. First thing I want to ask you about, how has the offseason been? I mean, COVID-19 has thrown us all for a loop. It has been something none of us could have predicted a year ago. So how have you guys been able to adapt over this off season and kind of heading into the fall? Sure, unlike any other, I mean, unquestionably, uh, to not be able to have the guys around during the summer was an adjustment, uh, to not be able to be hands-on with them, to get them rolling with classes, to not be able to work out with them was a big adjustment. And 
making sure that they were all staying healthy, making sure that they had the quality time with their own families, uh, and then learning the power of Zoom, uh, being able to stay in touch with your guys in that regard. And sometimes it was once a week, sometimes it needed more so if we were learning new information. And then sometimes it was honestly, you know, give them a break and, you know, allow them to just be, be young people and having fun and spending that time and having the freedom with their families and stuff like that. But uh, with that said, we're very grateful to have them back. We're glad that we're up and running uh, here on campus and looking forward to the season. Over the summer, like you said, a lot of team bonding is what, you know, usually you guys be doing in the summer of the off season. What is it that you missed most in terms of things that you guys usually do or have planned or just the ex one of the experiences you have with the team? I would say right out of the shoot, I would say just the daily interaction, whether it be them simply coming through the office, the daily workouts, uh, just having the opportunity to just have the more casual conversations because typically in the summer, things are much slower paced in terms of, you know, the guys are taking one or two classes instead of five. Uh, there just isn't the hustle with their daily lives. And so you get a little bit more downtime to have a little bit more elongated conversations and you just get to know your guys a little bit more that way. So we missed out on that, but we're hopefully making up for lost time. Yeah, it's been great seeing everyone healthy, being able to kind of, you know, get back to as, as normal as we can be in these very uncertain times. Um, with the new faces you brought into the program, a lot, of, a few, quite a few transfers, some true freshmen. How have they been going in terms, because I know you like meshing guys in, you like building that chemistry early in the year. How do you feel like they're progressing so far with these early workouts in terms of just the guys coming together and building that chemistry for the, for the season? Our new guys have been terrific. They have come in eager, they've come in with a work ethic, and they're also being incredibly coachable in terms of picking up new terminology, picking up new concepts, and playing with new teammates. And so they've been terrific that way. Our returning guys have, have welcomed them with open arms. Uh, and we've had as much interaction as we can and what's allowable and what's the smart thing to do, which in normal years you don't think twice about, which is at the forefront front right now in terms of just making sure that we're doing everything the right way. But we couldn't be happier with how each of our five new guys have been in terms of from day one when they showed up. So they've been terrific and we're beyond lucky to have them here. And I know probably one of the biggest assets to have with having new guys come to the program is having some established leadership or some established presence um, within the team. I know Scott Blakeney, Chance Garvin, and also like Bob McCarthy Ambain's coming in as a senior. A lot of these guys, whether transfers or guys that have been here for all four years, how are you feeling in terms of their leadership development? Because I know Trayvon last year was, you know, he was, the, he was the guy, he was one of the lead men. How do you feel like they're taking over in terms of the vocal, the vocal responsibilities and also leading by example on the court. Sure, they've been really good, and you mentioned three of them. We have a really good class of five seniors, and Damon Thacker and Javari Christmas are the other two, and they've been a really good example in terms of how we do things. They understand what's expected. They understand the accountability for yourself and holding your teammates accountable, and so they've been terrific in that regard. They've been, uh, you know, a mentor to our incoming guys in terms of, hey, here's, you know, here's what the expectations are in the building. Here's what you have to do in terms of the weight room, in terms of study hours, stuff like that. That, you know, we haven't had the same number of meetings. We haven't had the same amount of time together to go over everything that you normally would at this time. And so you lean on your seniors. And for us, fortunately, we have five terrific ones that are doing a great job so far. Coach, thank you so much for talking with me and having our social distancing guidelines here and good luck with the season. You bet, I appreciate you having me. And one of the leaders looked at on this team is going to be senior forward Scott Blakeney, looking to try and take a huge leap forward in his final season in the silver and gold. Now joined by senior forward Scott Blakeney. Scott, thank you for joining me. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, so now, I, we all know things are just very different. This off season was something that I'm guessing you've never really experienced in the three years you've been a Vandal. No. Um, how was it? What'd you do? What'd you do differently that you don't normally either don't get the chance or you had to adapt to um, with COVID-19 is everything going on? So it was super tough, especially in the beginning, mostly just trying to find a gym that we could even get into because for a while there, everything shut down. 
But after a couple months in the summer, we actually, I stayed in Moscow all summer and we actually found a little gym called the Herc, a little community rec center. And so we actually got some pretty good workouts in over there. But it was obviously really different too because we couldn't meet any of the new guys and we couldn't be with the coaches and do all that stuff that we're so used to doing in the past. So it was a little bit different for sure. So who were you able to, you know, get some work in in the gym with? Who were some of the guys that you're able to, to kind of be around and, you know, with, with COVID actually have some human interaction? <laughs> So this summer, me and Gabe Quinette, we were really the only ones in Moscow for the majority of the summer. So that's who I was really trying to work out with. And then Chance and Damon Thacker came in later in the summer. So that's who kind of our little workout group that we had going. And then Jason Hardy, one of our managers, was really putting us through some stuff in the summer too. So. so I know, you know, chemistry is a big thing that you guys have been building on. You know, you guys had a lot of new faces coming in over the past couple of years. And with being able to work out in that sense, how do you feel like things are coming together with official practice getting under the way as well of getting to know the new guys, knowing their tendencies and building that team chemistry. Yeah, so obviously team practice starts on Wednesday. Super excited about that. And uh, but we still actually we've only played five on five one time since last March ish area. So there's still like that chemistry isn't quite there yet, but I think we're going to get into it pretty quick here uh, starting Wednesday into the into the following weeks, because some of the new guys, like you said, like we've played with them for four weeks, maybe so just trying to get to know each other better through that is going to be and i know you guys have a five-man senior class uh, you and chance been here all four mm -hmm. years together and then you got like damon javari and babakar who are some newer guys coming in mm -hmm. in terms of that leadership role and being you know one of the guys that has been been through it all mm -hmm. as a vandal what is your expectations for yourself as a leader and, and as one of the, the front men of this team uh yeah so what i'm really trying to do is just like help a lot of the newer guys the younger guys just trying to show them what we do, how we do it, and uh, trying to just a lot of times show them the pace of the stuff that we're trying to do. I feel like that's kind of one of the more difficult things to get used to as a freshman and like what to expect from the coaches. Because like you said, I've been with Coach Claus for all four years too, so I know what he expects out of us. And so just trying to help those new guys with that type of stuff, I think uh, is what I'm really trying to do. And heading into your senior year again, uh, what in terms of your game are you, have you most been working on? Are you really trying to round out or make sure you play at the highest level in your final season wearing the uh, silver, the, uh, the, the black and gold? Uh, so yeah, I'm just really trying to uh, just listen to the coaches, try and develop what they think that I'm best at and try and really like take on that role of whatever they think I can do to help the team the most is what I'm really going to try and do. So I'm just, I have a lot of faith in them, Coach Novsek, Coach Tripp, Coach Claus. So I'm just going to listen to them and try and get it, get it done. And heading into the season, I mean, how does it feel having some kind of normalcy, some kind of things coming back to how they used to be? Is it just kind of a sigh of relief being like, all right, we're, we're back to playing basketball again? It is. It's kind of unreal thinking that we actually are starting practices because there has been that uncertainty of like, are we even going to have a season? But it's starting to, like you said, feel really real. So hopefully once we get the schedule printed out and start having some games to look forward to, then it'll really start to feel real. So I'm excited for that. And my last question here, has it hit you yet that this is your senior year, this is your last year mm -hmm. coming in as being a Vandal, or do you feel like it's still a little ways down the road to when that moment's going to set in being like, oh, right, this is it? It has been super weird just because, like I said, that uncertainty has been there where am I going to play this year or is my senior year going to be a year from now? Like I never really knew. But now it kind of seems like that it is going to happen. So I think it's starting to set in probably this week when practices start. I think I'll start to get – you know, pretty excited, you know, get going. Scott, thank you so much for joining me and good luck with the season. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us for, for Big Sky Media Day for Idaho men's and women's basketball. I'm Zach Kellogg. We're all looking forward to seeing you at the start of this upcoming season. We'll see you all then.